So you've been browsing through Revit's library, but nothing seems to match that specific door you're envisioning. Sound familiar? Well, that's where creating your own Revit family comes in. Today, I'll walk you through the exact steps to create a custom door family in Revit. From setting up the template to designing frames and panels, everything you need to get the perfect fit for your project. First up, we need a solid foundation. You can either go with the imperial or metric system, but for this video, we're going with the metric system to keep it super universal. Go ahead and select the metric door family template. This will ensure that everything is set up in metric units, making it super easy to work with precise measurements right from the start. All right, with our template ready, let's start with the door frame. Begin by setting up reference planes and think of these planes as your guideposts. They'll mark the boundaries of your frame within the door opening. Offset from the door opening edges and set these reference planes so we can start defining our frame dimensions. Now let's lock in those dimensions. For each reference plane, assign an offset value, then create new parameters. Once you've set the parameter, make sure to hit the lock symbol. This keeps your frame dimensions consistent and super locked into place. Moving on with the frame path. This is where we start shaping the frame's outline. So head to create and then select sweep and then select sketch path. So this option allows you to sketch out the path that defines the shape of your frame. With your path set, let's customize the frame profile. Click the check mark, then select Edit Profile. Here you can sketch the exact look of your frame. If you want it thicker or slimmer, you can easily adjust it here also. Now that your frame profile is sketched, it's time to make it precise. Assign dimensions to each part of your frame, and this will keep everything proportional and in line with your design. All right, now that our frame is done, let's build the door panel itself. Head to Create, then Extrusion, and sketch out your door panel. The Extrusion tool lets you pull the shape out to give it depth. And then, to give it a finished, polished look, let's add some moldings using the Void Forms tool. Navigate to Create, then Void Forms, and then select Void Sweep. Sketch the path, then choose Set, and pick a plane to lock your void in place. This helps us carve out any intricate details. Now it's time to load in your metric profile to shape the molding. Adjust the angle as needed and repeat this step for all sides of the door. By loading and adjusting each profile, you create the professional custom look that stands out. And that's it! You've just created a custom door family in Revit ready to be added to your project. 
So next time you're missing that perfect door in Revit's library, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for Revit tips. Bye!